Falling in sin to rising in God. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the biblical character that we are reflecting upon today is that of Solomon. Solomon was supposed to be wise. Then how could he commit so many mistakes in his life? He asked God, Lord, I do not want wealth. I do not want power. But give me wisdom to rule your people. This is what Solomon asked. And Lord God granted him wisdom. And also in combo, he gave him power and wealth. Slowly falling for lust of foreign women he married 700 women and had 300 concubines thousand women in his life and slowly he started admitting to their gods he built temples to their gods he offered sacrifices to their gods he levied high taxes on his people and he who was supposed to be one of the most wisest king foolishly let his people suffer. Solomon did not rise but the kingdom of Solomon was intact during his life for the good deeds of his father and after his death his son Rehoboam's time the kingdom was divided into two. Jeroboam took the northern part and Rehoboam was the king of the southern part of the kingdom of Judah. So dear brothers and sisters, Solomon gives us a beautiful lesson. The gifts that God gives us is unmatchable, is beautiful, is wonderful, marvelous, magnificent. But we have to keep to it. If Solomon could fall such badly, we too can because we are not as wise as Solomon. True wisdom is in the fear of God. Solomon lost that fear. He lost his wisdom. May we not lose the fear of God. May we not lose that wisdom. May we live and die in the paths of God. Amen.